Hi everyone, I'm Kenneth. I'm the curator for Sam Mini Mobile Museum. And the Mini Mobile Museum is a traveling art exhibition co-organized between Sam and the National Library Board. For this recent edition, which looks into the films and popular culture of 1950s and 1960s, we work with the artist Jeremy Sharma called Slender. Joining me today is Jeremy Sharma. Slender really takes us through your reflection on a period of films uh, produced in Malaya between 1958 and 1963. So maybe we can begin our conversation by speaking a little bit about your interest in this set of films. Why were you so interested in films produced during this period? 1958 to 1963 is the heyday or the golden period of Singapore's filmmaking mm. industry. And it saw the rise of um, production houses such as uh, Shaw Brothers and Cathay Chris. It was during this time that they were producing a whole slew of uh, Malay language films. I was particularly interested in those films because it reflected a tumultuous period in Singapore's uh, history where we were just emerging from um, Br uh, British rule and the nation is still forming its identities. And so in this um, particular installation that you've uh, done for us um, with Slander, you've kind of created this setup where the past seems to come at us as a set of weak signals in the air. They kind of interfere with the present. Um, so I'm interested in talking to you about some of the themes that you were exploring with Slander. When you walk through the library space, you'll find that the installation's modular and grid-like structures is purposefully arranged to reflect the sense of order mm. um, that was imposed during Singapore's post-colonial era. I was also fascinated by the role of the outsider in, in a rapidly urbanizing city. Mm -hmm. So it's like presenting a slice of our history uh, through a network of images and, and objects. Yeah, this is the moment in Rasa Sayang A, right? Yeah. The, when the gang is trying to retrieve the, the map. Yeah. I think that the, the acting is also very exaggerated mm. as well. For me, Slender is also really a case about mistaken identities. Whether we're thinking about you know, your um, fictionalized name or yeah. protagonist in, in, in your yeah. writing, which is coming back to the title itself, yeah. right? Slender uh, indicates a case of uh, mistaken identity. Um, could you maybe talk a little bit about what you were thinking about with the title itself? The, the title references the 1959 Catechist uh, film called Koban Fitna. Mm -hmm which loosely translates as um, victims of slander. So in the film, the protagonist was accused of adultery mm. with his, his brother's wife. Talks about mistaken identities and narratives because it references a previous work which I did for the Singapore Art Museum in, in an exhibition three, four years ago called uh, Cinerama, mm. which was basically an exhibition of uh, film and video art and I presented a light box installation of light impressions which were derived from segments of uh, Koban Fitna. So it has references back to a previous uh, installation, mm. which is what this exhibition is about. Yeah, I think what, what I really like about your practice is that you constantly um, go back to some existing work and rethink yeah. them. And even then, yeah. Slender itself is not done, right? The manuscript is something that you continue to write on and it will keep changing as the installation goes through the various uh, public libraries in Jurong as well as Tampanese, right? So, um, maybe as a final question, um, for visitors coming to the exhibition, you know, they may come in at different times of its process. What are some of the things that perhaps you would like them to take away uh, with them as they experience slander? One could expect a different iteration of the same exhibition at mm. any given time during the whole span of the exhibition. Uh, the exhibition. Well, I think it's good to, for visitors to be surprised by what they see in the library. They negotiate between the, the still images and the videos and the text. Get prompted by questions like, what are these images trying to tell me? What are these films about? How do the writings relate to what I'm looking at? Could history and our biographical literature be presented as an artwork as well? So one would ask how this um, part of history and fiction have shaped who we are today.